By the time the team flies out of Brisbane after lunch on game day eve, Corey Parker will already have been on the go for eight hours. There will have been some early morning goal kicking practice, a team meeting, the captain's run, a recovery session and a barbie to prime the boys for their flight north, or more often south. All the players share room except for the captain, he has his own room, um, which I'm fortunate enough to have that, but I'm, still, I'm not sold on the own room bit just yet, I'm, I'm a bit of a, I like to be buzzing around the boys and, and uh, annoying boys or just chit chatting and when you're by yourself, you by yourself. Everything has been organised well ahead of time, including what the boys eat. We are served whatever the dietitians stipulate, to be honest. So there's chicken, there's part, uh, spaghetti, there's veggies, there's some sort of roast meat, there's a salad, and you'd be lucky if there was a, well, there's dessert in the form of fruit salad. That's pretty much generally how it works for the next six months moving forward. Each player books in for an evening massage, then tries to settle down for the night. For me, um, with four kids, it's, it's very easy to get to sleep. The, uh, the men with kids generally like the uh, away trips because you do get that uninterrupted sleep. But um, look, it's tough too. It's tough. Don't let the, uh, <laughs> the mums know that. My usual routine game day has been the same for as long as I can remember. So four poached eggs on toast with some salmon. Um, I probably have a few too many coffees than I normally should, which is standard for me for every day. Um, so, and then we've got to walk on, we've got to walk at about 10.30. Um, so after breakfast, you know, you sort of a bit of a chin wag and a, and a chat and you sort of onto a walk around that 10.30, 11 mark. One, two, three. The thing about being on a footy side is you do spend quite a bit of time together, so um, you, know, you do tend to uh, get on quite well. But in saying that, it's like brothers. If, you, if anyone's got brothers, you do wear thin at times, but uh, that's all part of being a team. At home games, I like to get there quite early, but when you're obviously away, everyone goes together, so everyone's getting to the game together. But we're generally there about an hour 20 early. So you do get a chance to, to watch some games prior or, or just sort of chill out. Generally we're about 35 minutes before uh, the actual kickoff time we are required to do warm up, get strapped, which depending on what time of the year is could take uh, 5 minutes, could take 15 minutes depending on the body. Some guys are just uh, happy to you know, do their thing. Um, and just relax. Other guys are very intense, other guys like to listen to music. Um, for myself, uh, when it comes time to put all the gear on, we'll you know, sort of start to somewhat switch on there, but um, everyone's very different. And what's going through Coz's head when he's running out that tunnel? The fear of failure, I think that still drives most professional athletes. You know, you want to go out, you want to do good, um, but uh, you just sort of quickly checking off in your head that uh, you know the things that you want to start well. One thing I always do after a game is, is make sure I sit there and enjoy that moment with um, with the boys. Um, you know, particularly if you win. Um, you know, it, it, for us, it's you know you work all week uh, to, to, to play a game on a weekend, and um, you know when you get that moment to sit down and just have a coke or or, or a drink, you uh, you do that. So um, after that moment's finished, we're gonna do stretch, we're gonna do hot and cold, and you're gonna do all these other things. So that sort of five or ten minute period uh, is really important. Yeah.